Hello everyone, Luke of Lights here with Volume 5, Chapter 7, Rest and Resolutions. I can close that, minimize that. Alright, so I'm not going to give too much of a recap because I, I have a cough or something going on, which I'll try to refrain from doing so. I've got trusty water here, so if I need to pause the video to take care of that, I can do so. Uh, but I guess to give a quick recap, you know, team reunion. Everybody came back together except for Blake. Um, so I, what I'm expecting from this episode, let me adjust this real quick. Uh, what I'm expecting from this episode is, of course, the based upon the name, rest resolutions, and based upon the thumbnail, it's going to be them reconnecting. Ospin saying, or Ospin and Crow maybe saying like, "Hey, let's just we're all here. Let's take a minute to relax a little." And I'm thinking that at the end of this, we're going to have like some kind of foreshadowing with the whole uh, Blake and Ilya thing. Like we might have Blake and Ilya confront each other, like a brief dialogue. And then we'll have like maybe a bunch of White Fang ships heading towards the Belladonna house. That's my guesstimation. Um, otherwise, I'm not entirely sure. Unless we get something from the villains, like Tyrion's new tale. Um, could be that as well. But it's a 12 minute episode. It's the shortest one of the volume. But the popular theory going around that I saw in the comment section was that this is going to be the last of these calm build-up episodes. And then from here, things are going to pick up until we get to the uh, grand finale, uh, which is going to be episodes... Uh, what I'm guessing is episodes uh, 10 through 14, maybe, possibly. Or it could be similar to volume... I think it was... T no, it was volume 3 that had the longest uh, big finale, which I think spanned, what, from 9 to 12? 10 to 12 before being, yeah, it was 9 to 12 because that's when everything was coming together and then 10 and 11, things were going crazy and then we resolved it with uh, episode 12 and then the second half of that episode, or the, yeah, second half roughly of that episode was resoluting everything and setting up for volume 4. I don't think we'll get necessarily that much action. That might be more akin to um, volume 2 where it was a, well, actually that one was about three episodes long too, yeah, because there was the one where Ruby got captured, they fought on the train, and then they had the big fight in the city. So that's that's the popular theory going around. I could be wrong. They could be wrong. I could be right. They could be right. So we'll see. Now, what I did do, and I'm sure you've already noticed this by now, is that I flipped the video. <coughs> Excuse me. I flipped the video to maybe help me resolve these, con or these copyright issues because I still have yet to get episode four uh, cleared up. For some reason, episode five got cleared up. Like, that one's good to go. But episode four, I've sent them an email like three times now, and they still haven't removed it. So I'll probably shoot them another one on Monday. Hopefully get that result here soon. Granted, it's already peaked at how many people are going to watch it. So all I'm really trying to do is just say, hey, I want my video up. So if people want to watch, you know, from start to finish, like binge watch reactions, which some people do, uh, they can do that. All right. So without further ado, let's get this bad boy rolling. Let me see the volume. Vibe should be good. Oh, 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 everybody. Everybody talking at once. How do you lose your map at a time like that? Believe me, I've asked myself the same thing. To be fair, Ruby dropped it the first time. <laughs> hey, but you made up for it, Mr. Muscles. You should have seen this guy take a giant grim head on. Stealing Ruby's spotlight. Ruby wearing it down. Uh, me? Did you see Ren during that fight? I think he was out of control. And for about the last five Sorry. minutes. I may have lost my temper momentarily. <laughs> oh, no, Just a little. Control isn't awesome. <laughs> oh. Bad advice. Thank you. Don't say thank you. <laughs> Bad advice. <laughs> you did not. Yeah, right in the middle of the party. Please tell me you let that lady have it. Of course not. Even if I did really want to. He did verbally yeah, lash at her. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, dead. She's dead. R.I.P. Nora. It's no replacement for the real thing. But I'll make sure to make good use of it. It's also a gun. That's amazing. Incredible. Hey, Jesus, Ruby. Stronger. Sure Not nah, here we go. Wanna bet? Nora, please. WrestleMania moment. I don't think either one's gonna win. It's gonna. Oh, you can't lose to a girl in a skirt. You 
wear a skirt, Ruby. Why is he not cheering? Yeah, for real, Ruby. Hot meat kettle. Feels like the original. I'll give you that. Yep. Crow's like an interrupted or something. Some new features. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, so it can do a little detached thing. Win? Okay, well, it was a draw. Oh my god, Nora's gonna be traumatized by the end of this episode. In a way, that was a little morbid. Funny, but morbid. Easy there, vomit boy. Holy callback, Batman. Oh, we're doing nickname throwbacks now. Yeah, for real. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. I mean, the ice queen seems to like it. <laughs> I so did not miss you people. <gasps> oh my gosh, she really does like it. What went and warmed your heart while you were gone? Hey, you make it sound like I used to be terrible. Y you, to be fair, you were pretty bad. Still have to deal with it once. <laughs> volume one, at least. Volume two, you got better. Volume it's three, you definitely got better. We've all grown in our own ways. You really think so? Yep, and Ruby has a uh, episode five. We all that beacon. Would you say you ever did anything foolish or embarrassing, or do you think you were perfect? Oh gosh. <laughs> I may have been a little too gung ho from time to time. <laughs> you? I tried to one v one a Nevermore on the second day of school. Yeah. Well, don't even get me started. Well, that embarrassment. That desire to go back and tell yourself not to be so stupid, that just proves you're not the same person you used to be. He really has become Master Zen. Smarter, <laughs> or kinder, or stronger. I mean, it fits him. It fits and him. You're not done growing yet. None of us are. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It turns out Ren gets real deep when he feels like talking. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad thing, though. I thought I was pretty great in school. Even at the dance, when you spilled punch all over yourself in front of Yes, especially the dance! Thank you, Yang! <laughs> I'm a, I don't think they showed that in the volume two. So much noise eating dinner. Get a guy read his comics in peace. Adult comics. The <laughs> Oscar's just awkward. It's like, I feel like I don't belong here right now. Oh, yeah, are they going to discuss uh, what Raven told them, even though turning into purse just... So, the Maidens, Magic, Salem, it's all true? Yeah, like, oh, that I can understand them being a little, like, Miss Zhao Long, let down by. This more or less what your mother told you. Gonna bring up the birds? For the most part, you forgot something. You forgot to tell everyone what you did to Crow and my mother. She didn't make it seem like a bad thing, but I don't see how it's a bad thing. What is she talking about? I really don't. Oh, great. Hmm. That's not a secret I thought she would give up so easily. I mean, it's not like you curse him with, like, werewolves or lycanthropy. <laughs> see my cat in the background. <laughs> the ability to reincarnate, though a curse, isn't without a few key benefits. Much like the Maidens... I, too, possess a certain magical power. Oh, is he going to confirm he's the... Uh, Using this power, the, the wizard? He's able to gift the Bronwyn twins the ability to see more, to move freely and be unburdened by their natural bodies. I... Well... Gave them the ability to turn into birds. I think my cat's plotting my death. Rather ridiculous sounding out loud, isn't it? Yeah, just a little. Uncle? You turn them into birds. All right. Now you're just messing with us. What else is new? He's telling the truth. We saw it. Yang's mom changed right in front of us. Why would you do something like that? I mean, what is wrong with you? Yang, that's enough. We made a choice. We wanted this. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. May I? Wait, well, then what does Raven have against Ospin? Granting this power to them was no trivial task. And no? I can assure you it was not done frivolously. I required assistance in gathering information on Salem's plans, as well as searching for maidens when their hosts became unclear. 
Okay, so have you done this with others? Like General Ironwood? So, so they are the eyes of Odin, essentially. As helpful as that might be, unfortunately, it is not that simple. A hugging and Munnan, I think they're called. Finite, and if I'm being honest, dwindling. The amount that I gifted to Crow and Raven was, all things considered, rather minuscule. You see, centuries ago, I sacrificed a great deal of magic to four young women who I hoped would use my gift for good. Okay, so he is the wizard. They were the first maidens. Hmm. Miss Zhao Long, it was never my intention to lie to you, to any of you. There are just some matters that I prefer to play close to the chest. Well, it's... I believe that's how you phrased it. It's not as if he lied. He just withheld yeah. the information. Everyone has a choice. The Bronwyns chose to accept their powers and the responsibilities that came with them. And later, one of them chose to abandon her duties in favor of her own self-interest. Now, all of you have a choice. Hmm. If anyone wishes to leave, now is the time. There is no shame or disgrace in abstaining. Yeah, I... Only I, in retreat. I really... I, I Like, we really need clarification on why Raven did what she did. Like, self-interest, that's well vague. Made. I don't know. Yay? If Ruby sticks around, then I will too. I don't tell me Yang's leaving. If there's one thing I know about her... It's that she somehow always knows the right thing to do. I smell a butt coming. Yang, but come. Yeah. If we're going to help. If we're going to keep risking our lives, no more lies. No more half truths. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Just don't go back to Raven. Well, not that she really could, anyways. Because she couldn't teleport back to her unless Raven came to her. So, what now? I mean, what can we do? Hmm, that is a difficult question. I One guess. that I believe is my other cat's answered tomorrow. Protesting something. What do you mean? The road ahead is undoubtedly filled with hardships and peril. However, it has been far too long since you have all been together. Please take tonight. Enjoy this moment. Okay, so I was. I've been right about half of it so far. Yeah. How much time do we got left? <laughs> What's that going to show me? Raven? Crow? They're birds! Oh. Cracked it! Oh, really, Nora? Oh! The bat? Oh, hey, it's that dude. Oh, is that Mercury? And Emerald. Oh, shit. Not what I was expecting. Is Raven Bronwyn home? Oh shit! <sighs> you Put know, that aside. I've had a real bad week. You so really I have, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out on you. Well, hello, Cinder. Doesn't and Watts. Look like he wants to cooperate, boss. <laughs> then make him. Oh. I was hoping you'd say that. Dude, you thought your week was bad already. Oh, man. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but interesting. So, uh, yeah, I wrote down something, and that is uh, Ospin's power being finite. If he's been around for thousands of years, is his power really depleting all that much? I mean, we haven't really gotten a measurement of what his power is, and he said that it took a considerable amount to make the maidens. So, eh, I don't. I don't want to think too much into it, but until we get more information. But yeah, I the whole turning them into birds thing it seemed weak, and with Crow saying, "Yeah, we chose this," it kind of conflicts with what Raven said in the last episode. So, I. I like, Raven's argument is just now dead. Like, there's nothing to it now. Like, she had... Like, it is exactly as Osman said. She did it because of selfish reasons. Or she didn't want to be what Osman wanted her to be. And that is his eyes and ears around the world to essentially look over the maidens. Although, I guess that would explain how she was able to find Spring. 
um, so easily. Because I doubt it's just by chance she found Spring. She had been trained to find maidens that, you know, they need to locate. Like, they didn't know who became the new maiden after the previous one had died. So, yeah, we're not getting the Blake slash White Fang, or the Belladonna slash White Fang fight. Next episode, we're more than likely going to get Raven's Tribe versus um, Emerald Mercury, Watts, and Set, or not Salem, but Cinder. And I noticed they didn't show Neo. There's a big thing that Neo's supposed to be coming back. And another thing I want to bring up from a previous <clears throat> previous episode, and that is episode two, when Watts, Leonardo, which yeah, we've only got Leonardo two episodes. Um, then again, I mean, they haven't really had a reason to bring him back up. And they'll probably bring him back up later on in the volume. But uh, when they were having their little meeting with Salem through the Seer Grim, I remember it being that Salem giving Cinder instructions to rendezvous with Watts to go and speak to uh, Raven's tribe. And then he said, you know, it will be done. And then she says, not you, Arthur. Tyrion's in need of a new tale. So I, that, that part confused me. I didn't catch it the first time watching it, but I caught it as I watched other people react to it. And I think it was uh, Fat Man Fong and their little group. They caught it, like, off the bat. So I was like, oh, yeah, you got a point there. So I don't know if it was a slip up or what the deal was. But, uh, yeah, we haven't seen Tyrion at all this volume so far. Unless, of course, he was supposed to make the tale and then rendezvous with uh, Cinder and company, which in that case, okay. Uh, but then that begs the question, how are they going to get the tale back to uh, uh, Tyrion and Salem? And, you know, we still are waiting for Salem to have that talk with Tyrion about how he let Crow essentially survive, or rather he lied in the eyes of Salem. He lied about killing Crow. Granted, he did think he did. He did think he killed him, but he could not confirm it. So... Yeah, Tyrion's, Tyrion's going to get a lashing. Don't think he's going to die otherwise. Why would Salem ask for the new tale? So I think that might just be a minor continuity error on their part. Uh, maybe some lines got jumbled up or something like that. It's not a big deal if you can just kind of piece it together yourself, as I did, where it's like, yeah, he's going to make the new tale, and then he's going to have it shipped off to Salem and Tyrion. And then once Cinder and them arrive, that's when he's going to head out with uh, the rest of them to go deal with. Uh, Raven's tribe, which it'll be an interesting dynamic to see Watts and Cinder work together considering they do not get along at all. Uh, but we saw in the intro that Vernal and Cinder had a confrontation, so I expect Raven's... My, my prediction is that Raven's tribe's going to get his ass beat. Raven's then going to go back to uh, Crow and them and say, okay, um, so some shit went down and Vernal's been captured. That's a thing. We need to, you know, go get her or something like that. I don't know if we're necessarily going to get a rescue thing. But I get the feeling Bernal's going to lose, even though it wouldn't make sense for Bernal to lose, considering that Bernal's been a maiden for, what, a decade, and Cinder's only been one for not even a year yet. So we'll, I guess we'll see how that rolls. Unless for some reason Bernal is like, or like Raven, get, not Raven, but like the tribe itself is being threatened, and so Bernal gives herself up to protect the tribe that took care of her for so long. But even then, like, I don't get these whole, like, brotherly slash sisterly vibes from the tribe. They seem very survival of the fittest. And it would and it would go against like Raven's uh, whole spiel about only the strong survive and the weak die that she gave Crow in episode four of the previous volume. So yeah, my prediction is that like I can't see Cinder and them losing because that that would just deconflate all the buildup they've had of her becoming the fall maiden but at the same time it wouldn't make too much sense for Vernal to lose to Cinder because Vernal has the experience in her favor. Unless, of course, you have, you know, Emerald and Mercury do their whole thing, which uh, would make sense considering, like, if we're, if we're thinking about this as a wrestling match, Cinder's the heel, even though Vernal's kind of also a heel, but Vernal's more of maybe a tweener, which is somebody that's kind of in, like, a morally gray area. So it would make sense for Cinder to cheat to win instead of playing fair by the rules because Cinder has no reason to be, like, you know, this honorable, like, uh, yeah, it'll be the best of the Maidens. No, Cinder's going to cheat to win, or Watts will do something. Because we don't know what Watts can do exactly. And since he's there directly, obviously he's going to be doing something combat-esque, or rather he's going to bring something that's combat-esque. So yeah, uh, next episode, definitely looking forward to it, because I'm, I'm wagering it's going to be a throwdown at the Bandit Camp, and we'll see what comes of Raven and Vernal, and how Cinder and Vernal, you know, tango. But uh, anyways, um, short episode, it had, it wasn't, um, 
it was definitely one of the, it definitely gave me the vibe of like, yeah, this is the last of the calm before the big storm comes rolling in because we've got most of the gang together. Now we just got to get Blake and them up north to Mistral, uh, specifically Haven. One of the two parents is dying. I don't see them walking away with killing um, no one because then there's no real consequence to the whole Blake and Son defiance of the White Fang. Uh, I don't see Son dying, and I de- I'm definitely leaning towards Gira being the one to die off. Uh, Kali, I, I don't see Kali because Kali, if we look at how often Kali and Gira have been around, Gira's been the one that's been front stage. We relate more to Gira because we see more of Gira when it comes to the scenes. Him and Blake are front and center. Kali is kind of off to the side. Like Kali's death would be bad, but I think Gira's would be the bigger impact in terms of bringing Blake down. And you know you can't kill them both because you don't want to completely shut Blake down. You just want to knock her off, knock her off her feet for a bit, have her get back up, and you know go to Haven to like you know do her desperate act of defiance towards the White Fang, or perhaps because the messenger's dead, maybe she thinks she can get up there to warn um, the White or not not warn the White Fang, warn uh, Haven of the White Fang's impending attack, which will build up into the actual finale where. I'm not sure if we're going to get the actual showdown at Haven or not. It would make sense if we're going for the uh, three-volume arc. Unless, of course, they do like they do a rinse and repeat of Volume 2 to Volume 3, because Volume 2's final conflict was kind of tying... is kind of sort of foreshadowing the conflict in uh, Volume 3, because, you know, it was, it was a minor setback for Cinder's group. But I don't want to get too much into the weeds because, again, I'm like extending outwards and predicting, which my predictions could be completely wrong and I could be completely wrong in everything I'm saying. But we shall see. So do a good setup episode is what this was. It kind of resolved all the like, OK, so all these people are back together over here and now we got some conflict over here. So that payoff that I talked about in that video I uploaded a couple days ago or rather last week. Um well, I did upload it a couple days ago, but it won't be up until, you know, yeah. Or this one won't be up until, yeah. Anywho, um, I've been Luca Blight, and this has been my reaction to uh, Volume 5, ch- Chapter 7. I almost, I almost thought it was Chapter 6, but that's the one that's currently pending uploading. Hopefully I don't get blocked. Now, hopefully this reverse the thing works as well. Uh, but anyway, folks, have a look at Blight, and I shall see you all for whatever video I upload next.